not in the mood to talk in the morning. I'm not gonna fake it. After cracking and stretching, the first thing I do is I pick up my phone just to check if my class is happening because if there's not enough people, we usually cancel it. It's happening. I am gonna spare you my face as I drink water, brush my teeth, do everything that I need on my face, put some deodorant on because I just look like any other human just woke up. Time for an outfit change, which is leggings every day, all day. And I also put my watch on as it helps me during the class. myself that I don't look so horrible for people and I go I love to take the bike everywhere but this morning it was cold it was dark and I just wasn't in the mood for it <laughs> when I'm in the station I know exactly where to go and where to stand so then I'm at the right spot to the change for the next train I don't know if you guys do that too during the train I like to have a quick read at the class that I usually made the day before When I'm at the studio, I open because I have the first class of the day and then I prep the studio, light some candles and yeah, I just wait for my students to arrive and then I check them in and then the class starts at 7.30. After class, I like to chat with my students and wait for them to shower. This class at the other side of Paris yeah I usually come home and then I have another class at 12 30 so in between those two hours I can't really start working on very big projects so what I like to do is either have a little look at my emails answer those that I need to answer um, anything like invoices or like admin stuff that can be done in two hours or it's okay if like i don't finish those things what i like to do also is because i'm shooting recipes on thursday usually so tomorrow i like to plan the the ingredients that i'll need the how it's going to be shot when i film so like what do i start with because when i make a recipe it's totally different when i film it than when i make it like for myself because some things I need to make earlier than others to make sense in the video. So it's just like, it's a little planning and I like to do that the day before so that tomorrow I'm really efficient. I don't know if you care about that, but I thought I'd share with you how I kind of like work it out. Today I also need to finish um, something I need to hand in for my studies. So yeah, that's the plan for the next two hours. And now I'm gonna have my breakfast, which is what a surprise, oatmeal. In between classes, my phone is always on charge. Because I use it for the music, it always needs to be fully charged. So yeah, that's something to think of. <laughs> Time for me to go out again, it's 11.30. I'm just gonna put some sunscreen on, a little mascara, 
I mean, I don't wear makeup for my first class, which is kind of weird because like, why do I wear it for the second class and not the first? But I feel like the first one, everyone just like walks, wakes up and goes to yoga, then they get ready. It's not that I care so much about wearing makeup, but I just feel like it's nice when the yoga teacher makes a little effort. Otherwise, we'll be in legging all day, and it's just like, it's great, but I just also love to do something. Otherwise, I just feel like I stay in pajama all day. I always wear sunscreen in Paris, even though there's no sun, um, because it also protects my skin from pollution. If you have like a nar natural and organic one, I also think that sometimes it's even great to wear makeup. Down. All right, I am. I am late. Let's go. Still the same leg in, same top. Let's go. So it's nearly out, and it's a heated studio, which is really cool because it's quite cold right now. I don't know if you know infrared lights, but it's a kind of light that heats. It's really good for the body to detox, to release any tension in the muscles. It's actually used in a medical detoxifying like really medical cases. I'm not late, I'm just right on time. <laughs> out of my class and there is some blue sky so I'm gonna try to take the bike to go home. through all right I'm sorry I would love to like talk to you but there's just so many cars today I can't take the risk of like looking at the camera I just came home and I found this on the floor which means I have a parcel that's come that's arrived and I can't wait to pick it up it's currently 3 p.m. and I'm having lunch. I have another class at 7.30 tonight and final class. And so I have like a lot of hours in between where I love to come home because as you've probably seen, it's pretty hectic in the city. If you have no idea who I am, I am part-time yoga teacher and part-time blogger or YouTuber influencer. Last year, as I started to teach yoga pretty much any time I said yes to everything and every day or almost every day I ended up with a class sometimes it was a private sometimes it was like a group class sometimes in a gym sometimes like everywhere anywhere and even though it was like once a once a day I just break my rhythm of working and I just couldn't be more productive on the blog do more recipes do more things that I wanted to do keep up with the YouTube channel which I have like left a little bit and so this year I've decided to kind of dedicate the Wednesday to yoga and Saturday to yoga teaching so I have like other days of the week that I can really fully focus to everything else that I want to do so yeah I mean if you have any questions about like teaching yoga or like my training I've written a blog post about my training on my blog but if you have any questions I could definitely do a Q&A about yoga teacher I don't know like any fun stories or any something specific that you want to know let me know yeah that's all i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to come back to youtube so thanks for your support as i do that and uh i think i'm just gonna eat because i'm starving <laughs> mm. another thing that i wanted to tell you was i usually take my bike everywhere i mean not my bike but i rent a bike and i have it everywhere except when it's raining and right now in the morning it's pretty cold and it's dark and I wasn't ready to film and to be on the bike and to do everything so I'd rather just take the metro and show you how I get there and um, and yeah that's it but usually I, I try to take the bike I love it especially before my class in the morning 
Um, it helps me to warm up. No one at 6 a.m. in the street, so it's pretty cool in Paris. Um, it's pretty stressful though because I do take the big, big roundabouts, which is Place de l'Etoile, and it's crazy. And every time I'm like almost dying, but it's okay. <laughs> So a little update, I've been working for about an hour and a half. I have a race this weekend of 20k. I was supposed to go today for a run, but I don't like to run when it's raining. I mean, I would have done it for the marathon that I run, but this is not the marathon. Like, this is like a little race. So I just... Here we go, it's raining. So I don't want to be drenched by the rain that is super polluted. I do have a gym here <laughs> with like a kettlebell and some weight and some mats and I have everything I, I need. So that's my plan. done <laughs> oh my god and now i have like 10 minutes to shower and change pedaling and a clear sky some people literally block the cycling path they kind of ruined it with this oh this is the race i'm gonna do this weekend <laughs> It's nine. I'm out of class and I'm going home. I'm probably gonna take the bike again. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my day. I mean, I'm probably gonna show you what I eat for dinner and I have no idea what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Oh, this is a really good view. I am pretty lucky to live very close to the Eiffel Tower. That's where I run most of the time. I get to see it every day, I get to see it from my place. Someone just laughed at me, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, oh well, pretty. There's a bus behind me and I feel like he's gonna be mad. They're always mad because they don't like when I film and when I take my bike, which they're right, you know. I felt like pasta tonight. I mean, I felt like having pasta tonight. <laughs> Just with this, like super quick. This is lentils pasta. It cooks in two minutes and I cooked some eggplants, cashew cream and some greens on top. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed seeing what a day of a yoga teacher looks like. I mean, at least my experience as a yoga teacher. As you can see, we spend a lot of time in transportation, probably more time in transport than the actual class. Um, but at the same time, I feel very lucky and grateful to be able to teach in those like beautiful studios. They're really nice studios. Um, and I'm sorry I couldn't really show you when I taught, but I just wanted to, you know, be there with my students. That's <laughs> kind of obvious. And also, it's dark where I teach, so you wouldn't have seen anything anyways. I love to teach like the sequence, the yoga, everything is really nice but what I think I love the most is making people feel good and make me making people feel happy. I just am really happy to have people take time for themselves. It's hard in Paris, it's hard, there's constant movement around us even if we are alone, we're not and we're actually feeling alone, it's very strange. But yeah, that's... I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I thought it would be funny to kind of see what my watch says about this day. So my watch says, I have stand 13 hours out of 12. I have exercised for 103 minutes out of 30. That's my goal for every day. I believe I've exercised more than this though. And I burn 710 calories. I mean, watch are not like super accurate, but it's just to show you that a day of teaching is actually pretty active. I did work out a little bit, but 
you know, like 20 minutes doesn't really change anything. I guess we can wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a little thumbs up and leave me any questions you have about yoga, about yoga teaching, or about living in Paris, anything, and I could do a Q&A soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon on my channel.